Before we start, we should discuss basic housekeeping. If you want good professional results, you need a clean workpiece. Everything from rust to paint to oil can contaminate your weld. So make sure your workpiece is clean and you've selected the proper shielding gas and established a flow rate of between 20 and 30 cubic feet per hour. Remember the chart in your Millermatic. Is your work cable attached to the workpiece or work table? Without that connection, you won't get a welding circuit. Unless you have a Millermatic with auto set, you will have to set your voltage and wire speed for the job. Check the parameter chart one more time. It's time to put on your safety gear and helmet. Using two hands and in a comfortable position, you're ready to start. How you hold the gun depends on the type of metal you're working on and what type of weld. For thin metals such as auto body panels, it's suggested that you position the gun at about a 10 to 15 degree angle. At this angle, a push travel provides the best results. If the metal is thicker, such as steel gates, reverse the travel direction because a pull travel angle will provide deeper penetration. The most common types of weld joints, the butt joint, T or fillet, the lap, the edge, and the corner joint. For T-joints and lap joints, use a 15-degree angle. For butt joints, edge joints, and corner joints, you'll need to be perpendicular to the weld joint. Keep the contact tip about 3 8 to 1 half inch from the weld surface. This is called the stick out, and if you are further or closer than this, you may not get the results you want. You begin each weld by making tack welds to secure your pieces together. Pull the trigger for about two seconds. While you pull the trigger, make a slight rocking motion from piece to piece. For best results, make a tack weld about every three inches. When your tack welds are completed, proceed to weld using the appropriate direction to minimize distortion. Stay on the leading edge of the puddle. This is accomplished by watching the weld puddle and adjusting your travel speed accordingly. For best welding results, you need the right voltage, wire feed speed, and gas flow. Set your voltage and wire speed at the recommended setting from the parameter chart and fine tune as you need. When it comes to travel speed and correct gun angle, it's up to you. Your Millermatic is designed to give you years of quality work. And remember, the more you practice, the better your welds.